Okay, so um, in this tutorial, we will learn how to um, start building uh, plugins for uh, After Effects. I have After Effects CS6. So the things you will need is uh, Visual Studio. I am not sure if it will work with the uh, Express version or not, um, but you can give it a shot. Um, and and you will need the SDK. So I went ahead and downloaded the uh, SDK. It comes with uh, some examples and a guide. This guide is very helpful. Uh, it has, I'm sure it has, um, they talk about if you need, um, if you can run this with Express or not. Anyway, so you can read this. Uh, instead of starting from scratch, uh, there are some sample projects, which is what I did at least, and you can take those and start start from those. Try to understand what's going on and um, start building from that. What I will be using in this example is the Easy Cheese project just because I like cheese uh, and what it is is just a key framer um, and it's kind of same as the one that ships with After Effects it's called the Easy Cheese Easy Ease um, so we'll see we'll see how, how to start After Effects from within Visual Studio and then kind of put a breakpoint and kind of get you started Okay, so I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to go into examples. So I'm going to go to AEGP, which is After Effects General Plugin. Um, oh, by the way, you can build the entire, all the solutions with the build all solution, or you can go in one by one and kind of build what you like without building everything. So go into Easy Cheese, go into. Um, start the visual C project okay so it's going to ask you if you would like to convert so we will say yes please and then it's going to say do you want to create backup nah I'll say next and blah 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 finish so don't show me the log I'm not interested all right so um, once it's done doing that uh, it says ready We'll go ahead and build it. And here's some legal notice, I guess. So I'm gonna just press Control Shift B, or you can just come in here and and say build. Let it build, and it succeeded. All right. So the next step would be to kind of load this plugin into After Effects and start debugging this thing. Okay, so I'll be back with that.